were seeking sex with minors and made themselves known to law enforcement. A ported school bus driver is accused of soliciting teens for sex online. Yeah, tonight, 58-year-old Paul Jean Drummond of Kalamazoo is among six men arrested in this child sex sting. The others include 37-year-old Brandon Moore of Kalamazoo, a striker employee, 33-year-old Alexander Bogdan of Martin, a U.S. postal worker. The three others involved in the sting are all from the state. News Channel 3's Trisha McCauley joins us live in Kalamazoo County to tell us what Portage Public Schools is saying about their employees' alleged involvement. Trisha. Portage Public Schools says Paul Jean Drummond is on unpaid leave tonight. The sheriff's office says that he did not attempt to solicit any Portage Public School students. The district says that it thoroughly vets all of their employees before they're hired and that Drummond did not have a criminal background. Our investigations find are finding scary, dangerous people seeking sex with children here in Kalamazoo County. These six men were arrested in a child sex sting, all facing charges of accosting children for immoral purposes and using computers to commit a crime. Portage Public Schools says the bus driver involved in the sting, Paul Drummond, has worked for the district since 2019. He went through state and national background checks and had a spotless record, according to the district. He drove bus number 46, which serves Northern High, North Middle, and 12th Street Elementary. There are simply too many places for children and adults to mingle on the web. The sheriff's office says during sex sting operations, they have an adult pose as a child using various social media platforms to connect to these predators. This time, a deputy was posing as a 15-year-old girl. Sheriff Richard Fuller says there are thousands of apps out there that people are using to connect with children. Please take the time. Please take the time to contact your cell phone providers as well as your computer, internet providers and ask them what it is you can do to be an active participant in your child's online activities. Today in court, a judge calling Drummond's allegations the most serious because if true, he would be a threat to children. His bond was set at $10,000 with the conditions that he could not be around children, use the internet, and has to have a GPS tether. Most of the men involved in this sex sting do not have criminal backgrounds. One has already taken a plea deal. A part of that agreement is no upfront jail time, but maximum probation.